Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the ninth edition, hard to believe it's already been nine, of the Epic Rift Recap Community Luck Pools. You know, I get the question every once in a while, Prof, how do you know if this was really luck or if this was um, chronometer determination? Well, I still view that as a certain degree of luck, believe it or not, because yeah, you can be patient and you can save up for that chronometer, but you don't control what class of gym is in the rift when you pop in. And I have heard from several of you who are so frustrated right now because you haven't seen that specific class that you're targeting, be it skill or mystic, etc., the entire month. And I myself have seen for four rifts in a row, only the science gym pop up. So I totally get and empathize with the patients and you want to make sure that that color of the rift that you're waiting for, that five-star awakening gym class is guaranteed to appear before the end of the month. I don't know what to tell you other than be patient. But I also think that with such a historic amount of trash offers this week, I mean, I can't think of a worse week collectively ever starting with Mother's Day in the United States, at least, because I heard across the pond, it was I don't know, a couple months ago. But uh, that just a collection of, of just like offers that were so out of touch that it was almost laughable, but also really sad. So I say that to say that this is something I love to do because it actually promotes the game in a pro player way. It takes a side quest that, yes, costs a, a decent amount of energy, four per tile, but you have these uh, summoners who are getting these awesome items and hopefully luck in a non-crazy price gouging way. In fact, it's something that free-to-play players can enjoy as much as the quote-unquote whales. So with that being said, it's kind of cool that the Batman or Batman, how cool is that that somebody's like, you know, I'm just going to name myself Batman. I know it's a Marvel game. It's a DC uh, title, but I'm going to name myself Batman, level 49, and uh, he got the uh, the four-star tech gem, and, and I kind of wanted to highlight him just because of his name. You know, I, I get it's not a five-star, it's a four-star, but it's Batman. Now we'll go to a five-star. Sas uh, Mufasa, you know I didn't say that right. Five-star uh, skill awakening gem. Devish Sangwon, sure, five-star tech gem. And then 10,000 five-star shards for IC Green. And that turned into a Hawkeye. So, you know, a standard pull. I do love me some Hawkeye. Very underrated champion. Ken Adroid with that Tier 2 Alpha. Haven't got that yet. I hope I can. You've got a five-star featured crystal for Dog on Toro that turns into Iron Man Infinity War. And then, this is how... Uh, if you want to send me a screenshot and be smart about it, do what this guy did. He knew that his screen name was actually abbreviated with the ellipses, so he wrote it over the screenshot that he submitted for this. Blackout 3.0. 10,000 five-star shards turned into five-star fishbowl. Congratulations. Five-star uh, skill gem that used also for the same summoner to awaken Nick Fury. So that is pretty fantastic. Dr. Devil pulled the science like myself yesterday, and Dr. Doom915 got himself a six-star Electro from the shards that he got from the Rift. DZ, five-star skill awakening gem, and he used that on his Aegon. How about that? Dynamics with another five-star skill. We have a lot of skill in this variety video today. Gearzo with the Tier 2 Alpha, and then Lord Kim with 10,000 five-star shards, and he used that to dupe his sunspot. So very jealous of that. As you know, I'm still hunting him in the five-star crystal. Unbelievable with the tier two alpha. And Simister135 with the tech gym. How about Zahir61, 10,000 five-star shards, turned into a five-star Mr. Fantastic. And then KCGL with the five-star Science Awakening gym. And he used that to awaken his Captain America Infinity War. Really great choice, sir. Mama Bear, our very own, she has scored multiple five-star Awakening Gems in this event, and yesterday she got the tech class. Congrats, Mama. Awaken that ghost. Weapon. Maybe Weapon X? But Weapon, regardless, Tier 2 Alpha. Just Joe Foe. <laughs> the action shot of the five-star featured crystal that turned into Massacre for Just Joe Foe. SSK1742 with the five-star skill gem. And then Zim Flam with the action shot going over the node for the mutant gem. 
Uh, we've seen very few mutants in these openings. I feel like that's just not as easy to get, but maybe it's just me. The Office, American and UK maybe. Five-star Mystic Awakening Gem. Drodrone, 10,000 five-star shards. Turn into a dupe of his Killmonger. And then how about Chimichanga, 2108, with the six-star shards of a thousand variety. Triple U with the five-star skill. And then Domino Effect with that five-star Mystic. Shane God, five-star featured crystal that turned into Mr. Mole Man. And then Empy. I always, I always think that says empty, but it's Empy with a five-star science gem. And he used that to also awaken his Captain America Infinity War. Hazalek won with a skill gem. And also MHK5524 with 10,000 five-star shards. Uh, triumphant. With a cosmic, shout out my friend, you confused with a five star skill. Serpent 08 with a five star. Uh, I, I don't know why I thought mutant and I didn't want to say mutant. Obviously, it's mutant. I am so tired. Blue Jay featured five star hero crystal. Bucky Barnes with a five star mutant. And that awakened his Omega Red. Heck yeah. Franz with the five star cosmic. The Kraken with a five-star Mystic. And there you have it. Well, whew, congrats to everybody who either got the gem that they have patiently been saving their chronometer for, got lucky, hit the chance it, and got the 5,000 uh, or 10,000 five-star shards, I should say, the five-star featured crystal, the five-star awakening gem anyways, maybe the six-star shards, maybe the tier two alpha. Um, yeah, this event's been interesting. Way better in terms of rifts than in the past, though. Keep in mind that it used to be a 1% drop rate for that 5-star Awakening Gem, and there was no such thing as a chronometer, so you really had very little chance to actually land on it. Um, yes, people have suggested that the best way to make this event even better is to get these 5-star Awakening Gems to be generic, but keep in mind there's no way Kabam would ever give somebody an opportunity for a free side quest event to get a generic, especially multiple generics, because of course you can run epic rifts uh, up to what, 18 times this uh, this month? So yeah, that's the thought process behind it. Love the concept and the idea of it, but it'll never happen. It's just, it would mess, as Kabam likes to say, up the economy of the game too much. Have a good day, YouTube, and congrats again to everybody who made it in this edition, the ninth edition of the Epic Rift Compilation Pools.